I'm Katherine Martin, founder of Quiet Time Ministries. Every day I have the privilege of meeting alone with the one who actually created me, who made the world. His name is Jesus, and He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this is my quiet time. This year, my word for the year is new. I have been seeing God do many new things in my life. He is definitely a God who loves to do new things, and He is always at work creating something new in my life. My verses for the year are Isaiah 43, 18, and 19. Listen to these words. Do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Behold, I will do something new. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even make a roadway in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. I love these verses and I take them to heart. I can imagine and hear God speaking them to me. I have a habit of thinking and dwelling on the past too much. And it keeps me from being able to let go of things sometimes. These words help me to let go of things in the past and leave them with the Lord. And it helps me to live in the present and look for what the Lord is doing. But probably some of my favorite words in Isaiah 43, 19 are where God promises to make a pathway in the wilderness, a road through the desert. I need this promise and I love that it is tied to the new thing. It means God is going to do something that I have not yet seen or imagined, something that hasn't even entered my mind. It's exactly at this point where I need to learn a new trust. It's when I can't figure out how my situation can be solved. It's then that I begin to panic and worry and get discouraged. I find myself greatly challenged in the wilderness times, especially when there is no visible means of support. And so here is where God is growing me with a deeper faith and trust in Him. And that's why I totally love Isaiah 43, 19, my verse for the year, and new as my word for the year. So I am learning to choose a trust in God to make a pathway through the wilderness instead of fear and panic. I often think about the people of Israel out there in the wilderness after being in Egypt, where they always had food and shelter, and now they couldn't see how they could have food or even water. God was their support and provider, and they doubted. Could He really do it? Would He actually provide for them? And they grumbled. It says in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 5, that God was not pleased with most of the people because they were laid low in the desert. Oh, this strikes at my own heart. I don't want to be laid low in the desert, and I am sometimes. So as we talk about these words about God doing a new thing, let's think about where God asks, will you not be aware of it? Aware of what? The new thing. What can we do to be aware of the work of God in our lives? Well, I think we need to be God aware all the time, acknowledging His presence with us moment by moment. Prayer will help us. Knowing and memorizing His Word will help us. Good friends will help us. Staying the course and enduring in trials instead of giving up will help us. And then our eyes will be open to see God's fingerprints on our lives and His orchestration of events down to the minute details. So, dear friend, know today that God is doing a new thing. I pray that you will be aware of it and experience firsthand the joy of walking that road He has made for you in the desert. Lord, thank you for the new thing you are doing in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's my quiet time. God bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing Him.